How's it going everyone? In this video, I will be showing you how to model part two for the types of tolerances activity. In the previous video, we modeled the conduit bracket. And this time around, we are going to model the axle stabilizer. So just like last time, we have a few tolerances on the sheet. We have some limit tolerances here. We have a bilateral tolerance here. And then we have a unilateral tolerance over here. So just keep those in mind as you are working. And then again, just like last time, we do have a couple of notes here. All dimensions are in inches. All tolerances have a bilateral tolerance of 0 0.01 inches unless otherwise noted. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start by modeling this front portion of my axle stabilizer. I'm gonna click on the front part of my view cube to get my front plane. And I'm gonna start a sketch on my front plane. So we are given some dimensions here. I know that this edge over here is going to be two inches. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that out. And then I'm also given the radius of my arc here, which is going to be 0.75. And an easy way to draw this arc is by doubling the radius to get the diameter and basically drawing a line the size of the diameter. Because once you have that line, what you can do is you can go to your arc tool, click from this point to this point, and drag that way and you should whoops don't know what I did there I accidentally clicked too many times but once you click on that point and that point you should be able to draw your arc to the correct size which in this case is going to be 0.75 inches so that looks good and now I can actually go ahead and delete that line I'm gonna go ahead and finish closing this up and I'm gonna go ahead and add in some dimensions here Make sure this is good to go. That looks good, perfect. Once I have this fully constrained, all my lines are black and I have all my dimensions in there. Hit the green check mark. And now I'm going to extrude this backwards at a depth of, it could be anywhere from 0.24 to 0.27 inches. So according to my limit tolerance there, I can go anywhere from my lower limit, which is 0.24 inches, um, up to my upper limit, which is 0.27 inches. So I'm just gonna go with 0.25, and that looks good. I'm gonna hit the green check mark, and we're good to go for that part. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw my rectangular portion here. So I'm gonna add on this rectangular portion and we know that this dimension that is given here is a typical dimension. So that means that the thickness here from here to here is going to be the same as it is here to here. And it's the same from here to here. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this around. And I'm going to get started with a sketch on that back face. So I know that the thickness is going to be 0.25 according to my typical dimension that's given there. I'm just going to go down and keep sketching like so. Made my rectangle there. And now I can go ahead and extrude this. And we need to figure out how much I need to extrude my rectangular part here. So we know that from this edge here to this edge here, it's 2.25 inches. Now we do have a bilateral tolerance there of 0 0.02. So it could be 2.27 or 2.23 or 2.24 or 2.26, depending on um, your choice. So I need to do a little bit of math here. I am going to subtract, since I did 0.5 for the thickness here, or 0.25 for the thickness here. I'm going to subtract 0.25 from 2.25. And then I'm also gonna subtract another 0.25 because that's what I'm gonna make my thickness for this, um, this part up here. So in theory, I'm going to be subtracting 0.5 from 2.25, which is gonna give me my value for the extrusion. So if I do the math, I'm gonna get 1.75, like so. I'm gonna hit the green check mark and we're looking good. The last thing I need to do here before I make my hole is I need to make my last 
face, which is this back portion. So I'm going to start a sketch on this little rectangular piece. And from here, I'm going to sketch out two inches, like so. Again, I'm just going to follow the given dimensions that are up here. So I'm going out two inches. And just like I did for the front part, I'm going to draw a line that's 1.5 inches. So I can draw my arc with a radius of 0.75 inches, like so. Now I can delete this line here. And then I'm going to close up this back face like so. And I'm going to make sure it's properly dimensioned, like so. Once all the lines are black and it's perfectly constrained, we're going to hit the green check mark. And we are going to do the last extrusion here. And I clicked on the wrong part here, but we're going to click on both of these parts there, like so. And we already know that the dimension is right here. And I had already mentioned that I'm going to go with 0 0.25. 0 0.25 inches. And again, because this is a limit tolerance, we can go anywhere from 0.24 inches to 0.27 inches for the thickness of that part. And I chose 0.25 inches. So that looks good. The last thing we need to do is make the hole. To make the hole, what we're going to do is we are going to start a sketch on that front face. And I am going to go to my circle tool. And I'm just going to find the center of my arc and start from there. If you look at the drawing, the diameter for this hole is 0.5 inches. And again, we're given a tolerance, a unilateral tolerance. So this hole can be as big as 0.502 inches, or it could be as small as 0.5 inches. Can't be any bigger than 0.502, and it can't be any smaller than 0.50 inches. So any number in between works, which would be 0.51, um, but we're just gonna go with 0.5, like so and that's in the right spot and we know that's in the right spot because of the center mark that is on our technical drawing so this is telling us that it's directly in the center of this arc that was previously drawn and that's where we started our circle we can hit the green check mark and now the last thing that you're going to do is extrude and cut through our object here so i'm going to click on this circle and i'm going to go to remove and for the depth here we're just going to switch from blind to through all, hit the green check mark, and we have now completed our axle stabilizer. And if we want to clean things up, we can hide our plane, or our planes, I should say. And at this point, you are going to make the technical drawing for your axle stabilizer. So your technical drawing should look very similar to the one that was given to you. Should have that front view, should have that top view should have all the dimensions that were given to you. And again, you'll replace this, um, you'll replace the image that was given to you with your own technical drawing that you created for this part. So that's it for this video, and I will see you in the next one.